Hey everyone, Newman here with Namino. Today we are showing another video on the FX Panthera. It'll be to how to remove the valve housing, specifically with my FX Dynamic Block valve housing tool. I made this tool specifically to convert the spanner needed on the front of the valve housing into a 4mm hex key. This is the packaging that you'll get the tool in. And there you go, there's a description right there on the back, convert 4mm hex into spanner to remove and install the FX Dynamic Block Valve Housing. The tool itself is made from 7075 aluminum and the pens are made from 304 stainless. They are threaded pens that are Loctited into place. So you will never have to worry about this tool ever breaking or corroding or going away. The first thing to do on your Panthera to, to access the valve housing will be to remove the chassis. As you can see in this video, we've already removed the chassis. I have a video on removing the chassis if you'd like to go see it. Here's a link to it. But now that we have the chassis gone, we can get directly to the valve housing. To, in order to access the valve housing at this point, we will have to remove the shroud and then the plenum. This is very dangerous and make sure that you do not do this unless you are willing to void your warranty. Most places will void the warranty by doing this action. The only time you would want to access the valve housing would be to uh, either replace the valve pin, fix a leak, or to make an adjustment to the adjustable valve seat that's inside. Uh, it can be rotated to control the flow. Um, but that is a very in-depth tuning technique uh, that can come in severe consequences. So again, do not attempt this at home. Uh, unless you are more than willing to, to avoid your warranty as well as uh, you have many safety precautions in, in place. That being said, my safety precautions, there is no bottle and I can show that there is no air pressure at all in this rifle. Not only do the gauges show zero, the valve pin is sticking out the front here which is showing me that there is no pressure in this plenum at all. Also, the rifle is on safe. It is not cocked. So I have several things in place here to make sure that safety is utmost importance. So first thing that we're going to do is remove the shroud. That's simply come down here and thread it off. It's going to slide off just like that. See here the spacers at the end. Sometimes it gets locked into the shroud. No worries about that. You get your clamp here. It's clamped onto the barrel. All we're going to do is loosen this clamp now. That uses a 3 millimeter. You don't want to remove the screws. Just loosen. Next we have to do is uh, break the plenum away from the action. Most of the time, you're either going to have to place the action or the plenum in a vise and break the other one free. Uh, I've already worked on this gun before, so it's, it shouldn't be that tight on. Yep, there you go. But most of the time, you will have to place one or the other in a vise in order to uh, break it free. But all you're going to do now is unthread this. You're going to keep the barrel in the action. You're never going to break that lock tight for the screws. and thread that and just slide it forward and you don't have to do anything more than just slide it forward. You don't have to actually remove it. Now we have access to do the valve housing. So I got the tool in hand with my four millimeter. Just gonna take it place into the end just like that. As you can see here, there's two pinholes, one right there and one right there. That's what we're gonna line up the pin on the tool width. So we're just going to take the tool, line it up just like so and there it, the pins are in the holes. Again I've already worked on this rifle before so the valve housing is loose. The valve housing is normally going to be very tight and it may be tight to the point that you cannot use the tool. Uh, the tool might be a little snug going in too so you're going to have to press the tool in, uh, go ahead and get into those pinholes. But the valve housing is too tight in order to uh, for the tool to turn it, even with a uh, like an L, a four millimeter L hex key. 
Uh, you may have to use a pen to punch the hole in a circular motion in order to go ahead and break it free. Uh, sometimes the, the threads we've seen that they're galling up or, or just being tightened too, no, too much at some point, uh, or else maybe it has some other external force on it that's causing the threads to seize up. Um, so not 100% of the time you're going to be able to break it free with just this tool. You may have to punch it free. So essentially, whenever it is, it is, it is going to work, you're going to take the tool, line up the pens, take it and torque it free. And it's just going to come loose just like that. And there you go. And there's the dynamic block valve housing. So there is my spring seat and my spring that are still in the valve pin. I've got my o-ring inside there, my o-ring on the outside of the valve housing here. Either one of those could cause leaks, so you may be getting into it to replace those. In any case, to reinstall, you're going to start hand threading it first. So line up that spring seat and the valve spring at first. And just hand thread it. And then take your tool. Line it up with the pins. Just like that and then thread it back into place. And if it's lined up, you'll start seeing the valve pin start sticking out. You're gonna take it, push it in, tighten it down, make it nice and snug. And there you go. And again, this tool's made out of very high quality material, so it's not gonna strip out, the pins aren't gonna fall out, it's not going to corrode. This tool's gonna last a lifetime. And there you have it. The, uh, the valve housing is back in place. That was the usage of the tool. In order to reassemble, just going to thread this plenum back on. All the way, nice and tight. Then get your 3mm back. Tighten up the, uh, the barrel clamp here. There you go. You just make sure it's snugged up against the barrel. And actually at this point, uh, since we did not loosen these screws at all, do not loosen the barrel screws unless you absolutely have to. But again, would not recommend it. They are locked tighted for a reason. Uh, thread that plenum back on, tighten up those uh, barrel clamps. And uh, at this point, you're ready to air back up. There's no more loose connections. So there you have it. Here's the FX Dynamic Block Valve Housing Tool. Made by me, uh, the new company name is 910 Air Guns Custom Parts. Uh, that's made to take off the valve housing on a FX Dynamic block such as the FX Panthera. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. If you need to shoot me an email or visit my social media, Facebook, Instagram, or my website, uh, please see it in the description below. And as always, happy shooting.